Croats, Croatian, Hr Vati, pronounced XRT or Croatians are a nation and South Slavic ethnic group native to Croatia. Croats mainly live in Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, but are also recognized minorities in such countries as Austria, the Czech Republic, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Montenegro, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, and Slovenia. Due to political, social and economic reasons, many Croats migrated to North and South America as well as Australia and New Zealand, establishing a diaspora. Thousands did so as war criminals, particularly to Argentina, Austria, Chile, and Paraguay in the aftermath of World War II. With grassroots assistance from their diaspora and the Roman Catholic Church, Croats are mostly Roman Catholics. The Croatian language is official in Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as in the European Union, and is a recognized minority language within Croatian autochthonous communities and minorities in Montenegro, Austria Bergenland, Italy Molise, Romania Karasova, Lupac, and Serbia Vojvodina. History Formative period The Dark Ages Evidence is rather scarce for the period between the 7th and 8th centuries, CE. Archaeological evidence shows population continuity in coastal Dalmatia and Istria. In contrast, much of the Dinaric hinterland appears to have been depopulated, as virtually all hilltop settlements, from Noricum to Dardania, were abandoned only few appear destroyed in the early 7th century. Although the dating of the earliest Slavic settlements is still disputed, there is a hiatus of almost a century. The origin, timing and nature of the Slavic migrations remain controversial, however, all available evidence points to the nearby Danubian and Carpathian regions. <laughs> Croat ethnogenesis The ethnonym, Croat is first attested during the 9th century CE, in the charter of Duke Tiarpamir, and indeed begins to be widely attested throughout Central and Eastern Europe during the 9th and 10th centuries. Much uncertainty revolves around the exact circumstances of their appearance given the scarcity of literary sources during the 7th and 8th century Dark Ages. Traditionally, scholarship has placed the arrival of the Croats in the 7th century, primarily on the basis of the later Byzantine document De Administrando Imperio. As such, the arrival of the Croats was seen as a second wave of Slavic migrations, which liberated Dalmatia from Avar hegemony. However, as early as the 1970s, scholars questioned the reliability of Porphyrogenitus' work, written as it was in the 10th century. Rather than being an accurate historical account, De Administrando Imperio more accurately reflects the political situation during the 10th century. It mainly served as Byzantine propaganda praising Emperor Heraclius for repopulating the Balkans previously devastated by the Avars with Croats and Serbs, who were seen by the Byzantines as tributary peoples living on what had always been Roman land. Scholars have hypothesized the name Croat Hervat may be Iranian, thus suggesting that the Croatians were possibly a Sarmatian tribe from the Pontic region who were part of a larger movement at the same time that the Slavs were moving toward the Adriatic. The major basis for this connection was the perceived similarity between Hervat and inscriptions from the Tanay dated to the 2nd and 3rd centuries CE, mentioning the name Koro U Athos. Similar arguments have been made for an alleged Gothic Croat link. Whilst there is indeed possible evidence of population continuity between Gothic and Croatian times in parts of Dalmatia, the idea of a Gothic origin of Croats was more rooted in 20th century Eustace political aspirations than historical reality. Contemporary scholarship views the rise of Croats as an autochthonous, Dalmatian response to the demise of the Avar Khanate and the encroachment of Frankish and Byzantine empires into northern Dalmatia. They appear to have been based around Nin and Clis, down to the Satina and south of Liburnia. Here, concentrations of the old Croat culture abound, marked by some very wealthy warrior burials dating to the 9th century CE. <laughs> Other polities in Dalmatia and Pannonia Other, distinct polities also existed near the Croat duchy. These included the Guduscans based in Liburnia, the Narantines around the Satina and Naretva and the Sorabi Serbs who ruled some other eastern parts of ex-Roman Dalmatia. 
Also prominent in the territory of future Croatia was the polity of Prince Ludovid, who ruled the territories between the Drava and Sava rivers, Pannonia Inferior, centered from his fort at Sisak. Although Duke Ludovid and his people are commonly seen as a Pannonian Croats, he is, due to the lack of evidence that they had a sense of Croat identity, referred to as Dukes Pannoniae Inferioris, or simply a Slav, by contemporary sources. However, soon, the Croats became the dominant local power in northern Dalmatia, absorbing Liburnia and expanding their name by conquest and prestige. In the south, while having periods of independence, the Naratines also merged with Croats later under control of Croatian kings. With such expansion, Croatia soon became dominant power and absorb other polities between Frankish, Bulgarian and Byzantine Empire. Although the chronicle of the priest of Dukia has been dismissed as an unreliable record, the mentioned Red Croatia suggests that Croatian clans and families might have settled as far south as Dukia, Zeta, and city of Drac in today's Albania. Topic: <laughs> Early Medieval Age. The lands which constitute modern Croatia fell under three major geographic politic zones during the Middle Ages, which were influenced by powerful neighbour empires, notably the Byzantines, the Avars and later Magyars, Franks and Bulgars. Each vied for control of the northwest Balkan regions. Nevertheless, two independent Slavic dukedoms emerged sometime during the 9th century, the Croat Duchy and Principality of Lower Pannonia. Pannonian Principality Savia. Having been under Avar control, Lower Pannonia became a march of the Carolingian Empire around 800. Aided by Voinimir in 796, the first named Slavic Duke of Pannonia, the Franks wrested control of the region from the Avars before totally destroying the Avar realm in 803. After the death of Charlemagne in 814, Frankish influence decreased on the region, allowing Prince Ludovic Posovsky to raise a rebellion in 819. The Frankish margraves sent armies in 820, 821 and 822, but each time they failed to crush the rebels. Aided by Borna the Guduskan, the Franks eventually defeated Ludovic, who withdrew his forces to the Serbs and conquered them. According to the Frankish annals, for much of the subsequent period, Savia was probably directly ruled by the Corinthian Duke Arnulf, the future East Frankish king and emperor. However, Frankish control was far from smooth. The Royal Frankish Annals mention several Bulgar raids, driving up the Sava and Drava rivers, as a result of a border dispute with the Franks, from 827. By a peace treaty in 845, the Franks were confirmed as rulers over Slavonia, whilst Srijim remained under Bulgarian clientage. Later, the expanding power of Great Moravia also threatened Frankish control of the region. In an effort to halt their influence, the Franks sought alliance with the Magyars, and elevated the local Slavic leader Breslav in 892, as a more independent duke over Lower Pannonia. In 896, his rule stretched from Vienna and Budapest to southern Croat duchies, and included almost whole of ex Roman Pannonian provinces. Whole four. He probably died c. 900 fighting against his former allies, the Magyars. The subsequent history of Savia again becomes murky, and historians are not sure who controlled Savia during much of the 10th century. However, it is likely that the ruler Tomislav, the first crowned king, was able to exert much control over Savia and adjacent areas during his reign. It is indeed at this time that sources first refer to a Pannonian Croatia, appearing in the 10th century Byzantine work De Administrando Imperio. Dalmatian Croats In the meantime, the Dalmatian Croats were recorded to have been subject to the Kingdom of Italy under Lothair I, since 828. The Croatian prince Mislav built up a formidable navy, and in 839 signed a peace treaty with Pietro Tradonico, Doge of Venice. The Venetians soon proceeded to battle with the independent Slavic pirates of the Pagania region, but failed to defeat them. The Bulgarian king Boris I, called by the Byzantine Empire Archont of Bulgaria after he made Christianity the official religion of Bulgaria, also waged a lengthy war against the Dalmatian Croats, trying to expand his state to the Adriatic. The Croatian prince Tiarpimir I, 845 to 864, succeeded Maslav. In 854, there was a great battle between Tiarpimir's forces and the Bulgars. 
Neither side emerged victorious, and the outcome was the exchange of gifts and the establishment of peace. Tiarpamir I managed to consolidate power over Dalmatia and much of the inland regions towards Pannonia, while instituting counties as a way of controlling his subordinates an idea he picked up from the Franks. The first known written mention of the Croats, dates form 4 March 852, in statute by Tiarpamir. Tiarpamir is remembered as the initiator of the Trapimirovic dynasty, that ruled in Croatia, with interruptions, from 845 until 1091. After his death, an uprising was raised by a powerful nobleman from Nin, Domagoy, and his son Zdeslav was exiled with his brothers, Petr and Munsimir to Constantinople, facing a number of naval threats by Saracens and Byzantine Empire. The Croatian prince Domagoy (864–876) built up the Croatian navy again and helped the coalition of Emperor Louis II and the Byzantine to conquer Bari in 871. During Domagoy's reign piracy was a common practice, and he forced the Venetians to start paying tribute for sailing near the eastern Adriatic coast. After Domagoy's death, Venetians' chronicles named him the worst Duke of Slavs, while Pope John VIII referred to Domagoy in letters as famous Duke. Domagoy's son, of unknown name, ruled shortly between 876 and 878 with his brothers. They continued the rebellion, attacked the western Istrian towns in 876, but were subsequently defeated by the Venetian navy. Their ground forces defeated the Pannonian Duke Cachel who was suzerain to the Franks, and thereby shed the Frankish vassal status. Wars of Domagoy and his son liberated Dalmatian Croats from supreme Franks' rule. Zdeslav deposed him in 878 with the help of the Byzantines. He acknowledged the supreme rule of Byzantine Emperor Basil I. In 879, the Pope asked for help from Prince Zdeslav for an armed escort for his delegates across southern Dalmatia and Zahumlia, but on early May 879, Zdeslav was killed near Nin in an uprising led by Bronimir, a relative of Domagoy, instigated by the Roman Pope fearing Byzantine power. Bronimir's 879 own actions were approved from the Holy See to bring the Croats further away from the influence of of Byzantium and closer to Rome. Duke Bronimir wrote to Pope John VIII affirming this split from Byzantine and commitment to the Roman papacy. During the solemn divine service in St. Peter's Church in Rome in 879, Pope gave his blessing to the Duke and the whole Croatian people, about which he informed Bronimir in his letters, in which Bronimir was recognized as the Duke of the Croats Dukes Crotorum. During his reign, Croatia retained its sovereignty from both Holy Roman Imperial and Byzantine rule, and became a fully recognized state. After Bronimir's death, Prince Munsimir (892–910), Zdeslav's brother, took control of Dalmatia and ruled it independently of both Rome and Byzantium as Divino Munir Crotorum Dukes, with God's help, Duke of Croats. In Dalmatia, Duke Tomislav (910–928) succeeded Munsimir. Tomislav successfully repelled Magyar-mounted invasions of the Arpads, expelled them over the Sava River, and united Western Pannonian and Dalmatian Croats into one state. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom of Croatia 925-1102. Tomislav (910–928) became king of Croatia by 925. The chief piece of evidence that Tomislav was crowned king comes in the form of a letter dated 925, surviving only in 16th-century copies, from Pope John X calling Tomislav Rex Crotorum. According to De Administrando Imperio, Tomislav's army and navy could have consisted approximately 100,000 infantry units, 60,000 cavaliers, and 80 larger Sagina and 100 smaller warships Kondora, but generally isn't taken as credible. Croatian kingdom as an ally of Byzantine Empire was in conflict with the rising Bulgarian Empire ruled by Tsar Simeon I in 923. Due to a deal of Pope John X and a Patriarch of Constantinople, the sovereignty of Byzantine coastal cities in Dalmatia came under Tomislav's governancy. The war escalated on 27 May 927, in the Battle of the Bosnian Highlands, after Serbs were conquered and some fled to the Croatian kingdom. Their Croats under leadership of their king Tomislav completely defeated Bulgarian army led by military commander Alogoboder, and stopped Simeon's extension westwards. The central town in the Duvno field was named Tomislavgrad Tomislav's town, in his honour in the 20th century. 
Tomislav was succeeded by Tiarpamir II 925 and Kresimir I .This period, on the whole, however, is obscure. Miroslav was killed by his band Pribina during an internal power struggle, losing part of islands and coastal cities. Kresimir II kept particularly good relations with the Dalmatian cities, while his son Stepan Gislav established better relations with the Byzantine Empire and received a formal authority over Dalmatian cities. His three sons, Svetislav Kresimir III and Goislav opened a violent contest for the throne, weakening the state and further losing control. Kresimir III and his brother Goislav Ko ruled from 1000 until 1020, and attempted to restore control over lost Dalmatian cities now under Venetian control. Kresimir was succeeded by his son Stepan I who tried to reinforce the alliance with Byzantine when 1032 sent a segment of naval fleet in war against Arabs, in favor for tolerance about conquering Zadar from Venice, another Byzantine ally. He did conquer it, but the circumstances changed later and lost it. Kresimir IV managed to get the Byzantine Empire to confirm him as the supreme ruler of the Dalmatian cities. Croatia under Kresimir IV was composed of 12 counties and was slightly larger than in Tomislav's time, and included the closest southern Dalmatian duchy of Pagania. From the outset, he continued the policies of his father, but was immediately commanded by Pope Nicholas II first in 1059 and then in 1060 to reform the Croatian Church in accordance with the Roman Rite. This was especially significant to the papacy in the aftermath of the Great Schism of 1054. He was succeeded by Dimitar Zvonimir, who was of the Svetislavic branch of the House of Trepimirovic, and a ban of Slavonia 1064-1075. He was crowned on 8 October 1076 at Solon in the Basilica of St. Peter and Moses known today as Hollow Church by a representative of Pope Gregory VII. He was in conflict with Dukes of Istria, while historical records Annalis Carinthia and Chronica Hungarorum note he invaded Carinthia to aid Hungary in war during 1079-83, but this is disputed. Unlike Petr Kresimir IV, he was also an ally of the Normans, with whom he joined in wars against Byzantium. He married in 1063 Helen of Hungary, the daughter of King Bela I of the Hungarian Arpad dynasty, and the sister of the future King Ladislaus I as King Zvonimir died in 1089 in unknown circumstances, with no direct heir to succeed him. Stepan II last of the main Trepimirovic line came to the throne at an old age and reigned for two years, after his death civil war and unrest broke out shortly afterward as northern nobles decided Ladislaus I for the Croatian king. In 1093, southern nobles elected a new ruler, King Petr Svacic who managed to unify the kingdom around his capital of Nin. His army resisted repelling Hungarian assaults, and restored Croatian rule up to the river Sava. He reassembled his forces in Croatia and advanced on Gvozd mountain, where he met the main Hungarian army led by King Koloman I of Hungary. In 1097, in the Battle of Gvozd Mountain, the last native King Peter was killed and the Croats were decisively defeated because of this, the mountain was this time renamed to Petrova Gora, Peter's Mountain. In 1102, Koloman returned to the Kingdom of Croatia in force, and negotiated with the Croatian feudal lords resulting in joining of Hungarian and Croatian crowns with the crown of Dalmatia held separate from that of Croatia. Personal union with Hungary 1102 In the union with Hungary, institutions of separate Croatian statehood were maintained through the Sabor an assembly of Croatian nobles and the Ban Viceroy. In addition, the Croatian nobles retained their lands and titles. Koloman retained the institution of the Sabor and relieved the Croatians of taxes on their land. Koloman's successors continued to crown themselves as kings of Croatia separately in Biograd na Moru. The Hungarian king also introduced a variant of the feudal system. Large fiefs were granted to individuals who would defend them against outside incursions thereby creating a system for the defense of the entire state. However, by enabling the nobility to seize more economic and military power, the kingdom itself lost influence to the powerful noble families. 
In Croatia the Subic were one of the oldest Croatian noble families and would become particularly influential and important, ruling area between Zr Manja and Kirka rivers. The local noble family from Krk Island latter took surname Frankopan is often considered the second most important medieval family, as ruled over northern Adriatic and are responsible for adoption of one of oldest European statutes, Law Codex of Vinodal, 1288. Both families gave many native bands of Croatia. Other powerful families were Nelepic from Dalmatian Zagora 14th, 15th centuries, Kasik who ruled over Pagania and were famous for piracy and wars against Venice 12th, 13th centuries, Kurjakovic family, a branch of old Croatian noble family Gusik from Kerbova 14th, 16th centuries, Babonici who ruled from western Kupa to eastern Verbas and Bosna rivers, and were bands of Slavonia 13th, 14th centuries, Ilotski family who ruled over Slavonian stronghold cities, and in 15th century rose to power. During this period, the Knights Templar and the Knights Hospitaller also acquired considerable property and assets in Croatia. In the second half of the 13th century, during the Arpad and Anjou dynasty struggle, Subic family became hugely powerful under Paul I Subic of Brabir who was the longest Croatian ban 1274 conquered Bosnia and declared himself, Lord of all of Bosnia. 1299 to 1312 appointed his brother Miladin I Subic as Ban of Bosnia 1299 to 1304 and helped Charles I from House of Anjou to be the King of Hungary After his death in 1312 his son Miladin II Subic was the Ban of Bosnia 1304 to 1322 and Ban of Croatia 1312 to 1322 the kings from House of Anjou intended to strengthen the kingdom by uniting the power and control in their hands, but to do so had to diminish the power of the higher nobility. Already Charles I tried to crash the aristocratic particularism, intention finished by his son Louis the Great 1342-1382, relying on lower nobility and towns. Both ruled without the parliament, and inner nobility struggles only helped them in their intentions. This led to Miladin's defeat at the Battle of Bliska in 1322 by a coalition of several Croatian noblemen and Dalmatian coastal towns with support of King himself, exchange of Subic's castle of Ostrovica for Zrin castle in central Croatia thus this branch was named Z. Rinsky in 1347. Eventually, Babonic and Nelepic families also succumbed to King's offensive against nobility, but with the centralization of power, Louis managed to force Venice by the Treaty of Zadar in 1358 to give up their possessions in Dalmatia. When King Louis died, without successor the question of succession remained open. The kingdom once again entered the time of internal unrest. Besides King Louis's daughter Mary, Charles III of Naples is the closest king male relative pretended to the throne. In February 1386, two months after his coronation, was assassinated by order of Queen Elizabeth of Bosnia. His supporters, bands John of Palisna, John Horvat and Stjepan Lakovic planned a rebellion against them, and managed to capture and imprison Elizabeth and Mary. By orders of John of Palisna, Elizabeth was strangled. As the answer for that, Magyars crown Mary's husband Sigismund of Luxembourg, with the Ottoman invasion getting closer to Hungarian Croatian Kingdom. King Sigismund's army at the Battle of Nicopolis was catastrophically defeated, and without news about the king, then ruling Croatian band Stjepan Lakovic and nobles invited Charles III's son Ladislaus of Naples to be the new king. This resulted with bloody Sabor of Krizevci in 1397, lose of interest for the crown by Ladislaus and selling of Dalmatia to Venice in 1403, and spreading of Croatian name to the north, while of Slavonia to the east. The dynastic struggle didn't finish, and with the Ottoman invasion on Bosnia started the first short raids in Croatian territory, defended only by local nobles. As the Turkish incursion into Europe started, Croatia once again became a border area between two major forces in the Balkans. Croatian military troops fought in many battles under command of Italian Franciscan priest Fra John Capistrano, the Hungarian Generalissimo John Hunyadi, and Hungarian King Matthias Corvinus, like in the Hunyadi's Long Campaign 1443 Battle of Varna 1444, Second Battle of Kosovo 1448, and contributed to the Christian victories over the Ottomans in the Siege of Belgrade 1456 and Siege of Jace 1463. At the time they suffered a major defeat in the Battle of Kerbova Field Lika, Croatia, in 1493 and gradually lost increasing amounts of territory to the Ottoman Empire. 
Pope Leo X called Croatia the forefront of Christianity in 1519, given that several Croatian soldiers made significant contributions to the struggle against the Ottoman Turks. Among them there were Ban Petr Baroslavic who won a victory at Dubica on the Una River in 1513, the captain of Senj and Prince of Klis Petr Kruzic, who defended the Klis fortress for almost 25 years, Captain Nikola Jurisic who deterred by a magnitude larger Turkish force on their way to Vienna in 1532, or Ban Nikola Subic Z. Rinsky who helped save Pest from occupation in 1542 and fought in the Battle of Sigetvar in 1566. During the Ottoman conquest tens of thousands of Croats were taken in Turkey, where they became slaves. The Battle of Mohacs and the death of King Louis II ended Hungarian rule over Croatia. In 1526 the Hungarian parliament elected two separate kings Janos Shapaliai and Ferdinand I Habsburg, but the choice of the Croatian Sabor at Setin prevailed on the side of Ferdinand I, as they elected him as the new king of Croatia on 1 January 1527, uniting both lands under Habsburg rule. In return they were promised the historic rights, freedoms, laws and defence of Croatian kingdom, however, the Hungarian Croatian kingdom was not enough well prepared and organised and the Ottoman Empire expanded further in the 16th century to include most of Slavonia, western Bosnia and Lika. For the sake of stopping the Ottoman conquering and possible assault on the capital of Vienna, the large areas of Croatia and Slavonia even Hungary and Romania bordering the Ottoman Empire were organized as a military frontier which was ruled directly from Vienna military headquarters. The invasion caused migration of Croats, and the area which became deserted was subsequently settled by Serbs, Vlachs, Germans and others. The negative effects of feudalism escalated in 1573 when the peasants in northern Croatia and Slovenia rebelled against their feudal lords due to various injustices. After the fall of Bihać Fort in 1592, only small areas of Croatia remained unrecovered. The remaining 16,800 square kilometers (6,487 square miles) were referred to as the Reliqui Reliquiarum of the once great Croatian kingdom. Croats stopped the Ottoman advance in Croatia at the Battle of Sisak in 1593, 100 years after the defeat at Kerbova Field, and the short Long Turkish War ended with the Peace of Z Sitvaderak in 1606. After which, Croatian classes tried unsuccessfully to have their territory on the military frontier restored to rule by the Croatian ban managing only to restore a small area of lost territory but failed to regain large parts of Croatian kingdom present-day western Bosnia and Herzegovina, as the present-day border between the two countries is a remnant of this outcome. <laughs> Croatian National Revival 1593 In the first half of the 17th century, Croats fought in the Thirty Years' War on the side of Holy Roman Empire, mostly as light cavalry under command of Imperial Generalissimo Albrecht von Wallenstein. Croatian ban, Juraj Vz Rinsky, also fought in the war, but died in a military camp near Bratislava, Slovakia, as he was poisoned by von Wallenstein after a verbal duel. His son, future Ban and Captain General of Croatia, Nikola Z. Rinsky, participated during the closing stages of the war. In 1664, the Austrian Imperial Army was victorious against the Turks, but Emperor Leopold failed to capitalize on the success when he signed the Peace of Vasvar in which Croatia and Hungary were prevented from regaining territory lost to the Ottoman Empire. This caused unrest among the Croatian and Hungarian nobility which plotted against the Emperor. Nikola Z. Rinsky participated in launching the conspiracy which later became to be known as the Magnate Conspiracy, but he soon died, and the rebellion was continued by his brother, Croatian band Petr Z. Rinsky, Fran Krsto Frankopan and Ferenc Wesselany. Petr Z. Rinsky, along the conspirators, went on a wide secret diplomatic negotiations with a number of nations, including Louis XIV of France, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Sweden, the Republic of Venice and even the Ottoman Empire, to free Croatia from the Habsburg sovereignty. Imperial spies uncovered the conspiracy and on 30 April 1671 executed four esteemed Croatian and Hungarian noblemen involved in it, including Z. Rinsky and Frankopan in Wiener Neustadt. The large estates of two most powerful Croatian noble houses were confiscated and their families relocated, soon after extinguished. Between 1670 and the Revolution of 1848, there would be only two bands of Croatian nationality. 
The period from 1670 to the Croatian cultural revival in the 19th century was Croatia's political dark age. Meanwhile, with the victories over Turks, Habsburgs all the more insistent they spent centralization and Germanization, new regained lands in liberated Slavonia started giving to foreign families as feudal goods, at the expense of domestic element. Because of this the Croatian Sabor was losing its significance, and the nobility less attended it, yet went only to the one in Hungary. In the 18th century, Croatia was one of the crown lands that supported Emperor Charles's pragmatic sanction of 1713 and supported Empress Maria Theresa in the War of the Austrian Succession of 1741–48. Subsequently, the Empress made significant contributions to Croatian matters, by making several changes in the feudal and tax system, administrative control of the military frontier, in 1745 administratively united Slavonia with Croatia and in 1767 organized Croatian Royal Council with the ban on head, however, she ignored and eventually disbanded it in 1779, and Croatia was relegated to just one seat in the governing Council of Hungary, held by the ban of Croatia. To fight the Austrian centralization and absolutism, Croats passed their rights to the united government in Hungary, thus to together resist the intentions from Vienna. But the connection with Hungary soon adversely affected the position of Croats, because Magyars in the spring of their nationalism tried to Magyarize Croats, and make Croatia a part of a united Hungary. Because of this pretensions, the constant struggles between Croats and Magyars emerged, and lasted until 1918. Croats were fighting in unfavorable conditions, against both Vienna and Budapest, while divided on Banska Hrvatska, Dalmatia and military frontier. In such a time, with the fall of the Venetian Republic in 1797, its possessions in eastern Adriatic mostly came under the authority of France which passed its rights to Austria the same year. Eight years later they were restored to France as the Illyrian provinces, but won back to the Austrian crown 1815. Though now part of the same empire, Dalmatia and Istria were part of Cisleithania while Croatia and Slavonia were in Hungarian part of the monarchy. In the 19th century Croatian Romantic nationalism emerged to counteract the non-violent but apparent Germanization and Magyarization. The Croatian National Revival began in the 1830s with the Illyrian movement. The movement attracted a number of influential figures and produced some important advances in the Croatian language and culture. The champion of the Illyrian movement was Ludovic Gaj who also reformed and standardized the Croatian literary language. The official language in Croatia had been Latin until 1847, when it became Croatian. The movement relied on a South Slavic and Panslavistic conception, and its national, political and social ideas were advanced at the time. By the 1840s, the movement had moved from cultural goals to resisting Hungarian political demands. By the royal order of the 11th of January 1843, originating from the Chancellor Metternich, the use of the Illyrian name and insignia in public was forbidden. This deterred the movement's progress but it couldn't stop the changes in the society that had already started. On 25 March 1848, was conducted a political petition, Zadijevanya Naroda which program included 30 national, social and liberal principles, like Croatian national independence, annexation of Dalmatia and military frontier, independence from Hungary as far as finance, language, education, freedom of speech and writing, religion, nullification of serfdom etc. In the revolutions of 1848 in the Austrian Empire, the Croatian ban Jelasic cooperated with the Austrians in quenching the Hungarian Revolution of 1848 by leading a military campaign into Hungary, successful until the Battle of Pakozd. Croatia was later subject to Hungarian hegemony under ban Levin Roch when the empire was transformed into a dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary in 1867. Nevertheless, Ban Jelasic had succeeded in the abolition of serfdom in Croatia, which eventually brought about massive changes in society. The power of the major landowners was reduced and arable land became increasingly subdivided, to the extent of risking famine. Many Croatians began emigrating to the New World countries in this period, a trend that would continue over the next century, creating a large Croatian diaspora. Topic: <laughs> Modern History 1918 Present. After the First World War and dissolution of Austria-Hungary, most Croats were united within the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, created by unification of the short-lived state of SHS with the Kingdom of Serbia. Croats became one of the constituent nations of the new kingdom. 
The state was transformed into the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1929 and the Croats were united in the new nation with their neighbours, the South Slavs Yugoslavs. In 1939, the Croats received a high degree of autonomy when the Bonavina of Croatia was created, which united almost all ethnic Croatian territories within the kingdom. In the Second World War, the Axis forces created the independent state of Croatia led by the Eustace movement which sought to create an ethnically pure Croatian state on the territory corresponding to present-day countries of Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Post-World War II Yugoslavia became a federation consisting of six republics, and Croats became one of two constituent peoples of two, Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Croats in the Serbian Autonomous Province of Vojvodina are one of six main ethnic groups composing this region. Following the democratization of society, accompanied with ethnic tensions that emerged in the post Tito era, in 1991 the Republic of Croatia declared independence, which was followed by war with its Serb minority, backed up by Serbia controlled Yugoslav People's Army. In the first years of the war, over 200,000 Croats were displaced from their homes as a result of the military actions. In the peak of the fighting, around 550,000 ethnic Croats were displaced altogether during the Yugoslav Wars. Post war governments' policy of easing the immigration of ethnic Croats from abroad encouraged a number of Croatian descendants to return to Croatia. The influx was increased by the arrival of Croatian refugees from Bosnia and Herzegovina. After the war's end in 1995, most Croatian refugees returned to their previous homes, while some mostly Croat refugees from Bosnia and Herzegovina and Janjevci from Kosovo moved into the formerly held Serbian housing. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Genetics. Genetically, on the Y chromosome line, a majority greater than 85% of male Croats from Croatia belong to one of the three major European Y DNA haplogroups: I 38% to 44%, R1A 27% to 34%, and R1B 12.4% to 15%. While a minority greater than 15% mostly belongs to haplogroup E 9%, and others to haplogroups J 4.4%, N 2%, and G 1%. Genetically, on the maternal X chromosome line, a majority greater than 65% of female Croats from Croatia, mainland and coast, belong to 3 of the 11 major European mtDNA haplogroups: H 45%, U 17.8 to 20.8%, J 3 to 11%, while a large minority greater than 35% belongs to many other smaller haplogroups. The region of modern-day Croatia may have served as a refugium for the northern populations during the last glacial maximum LGM. The eastern Adriatic coast was much further south. The northern and the western parts of that sea were steppes and plains, while the modern Croatian islands rich in Paleolithic archaeological sites were hills and mountains. The region had a specific role in the structuring of European, and particularly among Slavic, paternal genetic heritage, characterized by the predominance of R1A and I, and scarcity of E lineages. However, DNA cannot be completely connected and used as the evidence for a specific ethnic component, but only as an indication. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Language. Croats speak Croatian, a South Slavic language of the Western South Slavic subgroup. Standard Croatian is considered a variety of Serbo-Croatian and is mutually intelligible with the Serbian and Bosnian languages. See differences in Standard Serbian, Croatian and Bosnian, which are all based on the Štokavian dialect. Besides Štokavian, Croats from the Adriatic coastline speak the Chakavian dialect, while Croats from the continental northwestern part of Croatia speak the Kykavian dialect. Vernacular texts in the Chakavian dialect first appeared in the 13th century, and Shtokavian texts appeared a century later. Standardization began in the period sometimes called Baroque Slavism in the first half of the 17th century, while some authors date it back to the end of the 15th century. The modern neo shtokavian standard that appeared in the mid 18th century was the first unified Croatian literary language. Croatian is written in Gaje's Latin alphabet. The beginning of the Croatian written language can be traced to the 9th century, when Old Church Slavonic was adopted as the language of the Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom and the Divine Liturgy of St. Basil. This language was gradually adapted to non liturgical purposes and became known as the Croatian version of Old Slavonic. 
The two variants of the language, liturgical and non-liturgical, continued to be a part of the Glagolitic service as late as the middle of the 19th century. The earliest known Croatian Church Slavonic Glagolitic are Vienna folios from the late 11th, early 12th century. Until the end of the 11th century Croatian medieval texts were written in three scripts, Latin, Glagolitic, and Croatian Cyrillic Bosankica, Bosanica, and also in three languages, Croatian, Latin and Old Slavonic. The latter developed into what is referred to as the Croatian variant of Church Slavonic between the 12th and 16th centuries. The most important early monument of Croatian literacy is the Baska tablet from the late 11th century. It is a large stone tablet found in the small church of St. Lucy, Jaranvor on the Croatian island of Krk which contains text written mostly in Chakavian, today a dialect of Croatian, and in Shtokavian angular glagolitic script. It mentions Zvonimir, the king of Croatia at the time. However, the luxurious and ornate representative texts of Croatian Church Slavonic belong to the later era, when they coexisted with the Croatian vernacular literature. The most notable are the Missal of Duke Novak, from the Lika region in northwestern Croatia 1368. Evangel from Rance, 1395, named after the town of its final destination, Hervoye's Missal from Bosnia and Split in Dalmatia 1404, and the first printed book in Croatian language, the Glagolitic Missale Romanum Glagolitis 1483. .During the 13th century Croatian vernacular texts began to appear, the most important among them being the Istrian Land Survey of 1275 and the Vinodal Codex of 1288, both written in the Chakavian dialect, the Shtokavian dialect literature, based almost exclusively on Chakavian original texts of religious provenance missals, breviaries, prayer books appeared almost a century later. The most important purely Shtokavian dialect vernacular text is the Vatican Croatian Prayer Book ca. 1400. .Both the language used in legal texts and that used in glagolitic literature gradually came under the influence of the vernacular, which considerably affected its phonological, morphological and lexical systems. From the 14th and the 15th centuries, both secular and religious songs at church festivals were composed in the vernacular. Religion Croats are predominantly Roman Catholic, and before Christianity they adhered to Slavic paganism. The earliest record of contact between the Pope and the Croats dates from a mid-7th century entry in the Liber Pontificalis. Pope John IV John the Dalmatian, 640 sent an abbot named Martin to Dalmatia and Istria in order to pay ransom for some prisoners and for the remains of old Christian martyrs. This abbot is recorded to have traveled through Dalmatia with the help of the Croatian leaders, and he established the foundation for the future relations between the Pope and the Croats. The beginnings of the Christianization are also disputed in the historical texts. The Byzantine texts talk of Duke Porin, who started this at the incentive of Emperor Heraclius, 610 to 641, then of Duke Porga, who mainly Christianized his people after the influence of missionaries from Rome. While the national tradition recalls Christianization during the rule of Dalmatian Duke Borna, 810 to 821, it is possible that these are all renditions of the same ruler's name. The earliest known Croatian autographs from the 8th century are found in the Latin Gospel of Cividale. Curiously enough, the Croats were never obliged to use Latin—rather, they held masses in their own language and used the Glagolitic alphabet. In 1886 it arrived to the Principality of Montenegro, followed by the Kingdom of Serbia in 1914, and the Republic of Czechoslovakia in 1920, but only for feast days of the main patron saints. The 1935 Concordat with the Kingdom of Yugoslavia anticipated the introduction of the Church Slavonic for all Croatian regions and throughout the entire state. This was officially sanctioned in 1248 by Pope Innocent IV, and only later did the Latin alphabet prevail. The Latin Rite prevailed over the Byzantine Rite rather early due to numerous interventions from the Holy See. There were numerous Roman Catholic synods held in Dalmatia in the 11th century, particularly after the East-West Schism of 1054, during the course of which the use of the Latin rite was run roughshod over the Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom and the Divine Liturgy of St. Basil. Culture Tradition 
The area settled by Croats has a large diversity of historical and cultural influences, as well as diversity of terrain and geography. The coastland areas of Dalmatia and Istria were subject to Roman Empire, Venetian and Italian rule, central regions like Lika and western Herzegovina were a scene of battlefield against the Ottoman Empire, and have strong epic traditions. In the northern plains, Austro-Hungarian rule has left its marks. The most distinctive features of Croatian folklore include klopa ensembles of Dalmatia, tamboritsa orchestras of Slavonia. Folk arts are performed at special events and festivals, perhaps the most distinctive being Alka of Sinj, a traditional knights competition celebrating the victory against Ottoman Turks. The epic tradition is also preserved in epic songs sung with gusel. Various types of kolo circular dance are also encountered throughout Croatia. Arts Architecture in Croatia reflects influences of bordering nations. Austrian and Hungarian influence is visible in public spaces and buildings in the north and in the central regions. Architecture found along coasts of Dalmatia and Istria exhibits Venetian influence. Large squares named after culture heroes, well groomed parks, and pedestrian only zones are features of these orderly towns and cities, especially where large scale Baroque urban planning took place, for instance in Varazdin and Karlovac. Subsequent influence of the Art Nouveau was reflected in contemporary architecture. Along the coast, the architecture is Mediterranean with a strong Venetian and Renaissance influence in major urban areas exemplified in works of Giorgio da Sebenico and Niccolò Fiorentino such as the Cathedral of St. James in Šibenik. The oldest preserved examples of Croatian architecture are the 9th century churches, with the largest and the most representative among them being the Church of St. Donatus. Besides the architecture encompassing the oldest artworks in Croatia, there is a long history of artists in Croatia reaching to the Middle Ages. In that period, the stone portal of the Trogir Cathedral was made by Radovan, representing the most important monument of Romanesque sculpture in the Balkans. The Renaissance had the greatest impact on the Adriatic Sea coast since the remainder of Croatia was embroiled in the Hundred Years Croatian-Ottoman War. With the waning of the Ottoman Empire, art flourished during the Baroque and Rococo. The 19th and the 20th centuries brought about affirmation of numerous Croatian artisans, helped by several patrons of the arts such as Bishop Josip Juraj Strasmayer. Croatian artists of the period achieving worldwide renown were Vlaho Bukovac and Ivan Mestrovic. The Baska tablet, a stone inscribed with the Glagolitic alphabet found on the Krk island which is dated to 1100, is considered to be the oldest surviving prose in Croatian. The beginning of more vigorous development of Croatian literature is marked by the Renaissance and Marko Marulic. Besides Marulic, Renaissance playwright Marin Jik, Baroque poet Ivan Gundelik, Croatian national revival poet Ivan Mazuranic, novelist, playwright and poet August Sanoa, poet and writer Anton Gustav Matos, poet Anton Branko Simic, expressionist and realist writer Miroslav Kurleza, poet Tin Yuyevich and novelist and short story writer Ivo Andrik are often cited as the greatest figures in Croatian literature. Symbols. The flag of Croatia consists of a red-white-blue tricolor with the coat of arms of Croatia in the middle. The red-white-blue tricolor was chosen as those were the colors of pan-slavism, popular in the 19th century. The coat of arms consists of the traditional red and white squares or GRB, which simply means coat of arms. It has been used to symbolize the Croats for centuries. Some speculate that it was derived from red and white Croatia, historic lands of the Croatian tribe, but there is no generally accepted proof for this theory. The current design added the five crowning shields, which represent the historical regions from which Croatia originated. The red and white checkerboard has been a symbol of Croatian kings since at least the 10th century, ranging in number from 3 times 3 to 8 times 8, but most commonly 5 times 5, like the current coat. The oldest source confirming the coat of arms as an official symbol is a genealogy of the Habsburgs dating during 1512 to 18. In 1525, it was used on a votive medal. The oldest known example of the Sahovnitsa chessboard in Croatian in Croatia is to be found on the wings of four falcons on a baptismal font donated by King Peter Kresimer IV of Croatia 1058 to 1074 to the Archbishop of Split. Unlike in many countries, Croatian design more commonly uses symbolism from the coat of arms rather than from the Croatian flag. 
This is partly due to the geometric design of the shield which makes it appropriate for use in many graphic contexts e.g. the insignia of Croatia Airlines or the design of the shirt for the Croatia national football team, and partly because neighbouring countries like Slovenia and Serbia use the same pan-Slavic colours on their flags as Croatia. The Croatian interlace is also a commonly used symbol which originally comes from monasteries built between the 9th and 12th century. The interlace can be seen in various emblems and is also featured in modern Croatian military ranks and Croatian police ranks insignia. Communities In Croatia the nation state, 3.9 million people identify themselves as Croats, and constitute about 90.4% of the population. Another 553,000 live in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where they are one of the three constituent ethnic groups, predominantly living in western Herzegovina, central Bosnia and Posavina. The minority in Serbia number about 70,000, mostly in Vojvodina, where also vast majority of the Sokci consider themselves Croats, as well as many Bunjevci the latter, as well as other nationalities, settled the vast, abandoned area after the Ottoman retreat. This Croat subgroup originates from the south, mostly from the region of Baca. Smaller Croat autochthonous minorities exist in Slovenia mainly in Primorska, Prekmerje and in the Metlika area in Dolinska regions 35,000 Croats, Montenegro mostly in the Bay of Kotor 6,800 Croats, and a regional community in Kosovo called Janjevci who nationally identify as Croats. In the 1991 census Croats consisted 19. 8% of the overall population of former Yugoslavia. There were around 4.6 million Croats in the entire country. The subgroups of Croats are commonly based on regional affiliation, like Dalmatians, Slavonians, Zagorci, Istrani, etc. While outside Croatia, there exist several ethnic groups: Sokci, Croatia, Serbia, Hungary, Bunjevci, Serbia, Hungary, Bergenland Croats, Austria, Molise Croats, Italy, Croats of Boca Katorska or Bokelji, Montenegro, Raci. Hungary, Krasovans, Romania, Janjevci, Kosovo. Topic: <inaudible> Autochthonous communities and minorities. Autochthonous communities Croatia is the nation state of Croats. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croats are one of three constitute ethnic groups, numbering around 553,000 people or 14.6% of population. The entity of Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina is home to majority 495,000 or about little under 90% of Bosnian Croats. In Montenegro, Bay of Kotor, Croats are a national minority, numbering 6,021 people or 0.97% of population. In Serbia, Croats are a national minority, numbering 70,602 people or 0.94% of population. They mostly live in the region of Vojvodina, where the Croatian language is official along with five other languages, and the national capital city of Belgrade. In Slovenia, Croats are not recognized as a minority, numbering 35,642 people or 1.81% of population. They mostly live in Primorska, Prekmerje, and in the Metlika area in Dolinska regions. Croatian communities with minority status in Austria, Croats are an ethnic minority, numbering around 30,000 people in Bergenland, Bergenland Croats, the eastern part of Austria, and around 15,000 people in the capital city of Vienna. In the Czech Republic, Croats are a national minority, numbering 850 2,000 people, forming a portion of the 29% minority as others. They mostly live in the region of Moravia, in the villages of Jevisovka, Dobre Pol and Novi Prirov. In Hungary, Croats are an ethnic minority, numbering 25,730 people or 0.26% of population. In Italy, Croats are a linguistic, and ethnic minority, numbering 23,880 people, of which 2,801 people belong to ethnic minority of Molise Croats from the region of Molise. In Romania, Croats are a national minority, numbering 6,786 people. They mostly live in the Karas Severin County, in communes of Lupac and Karasova. In Slovakia, Croats are an ethnic and national minority, numbering around 850 people. 
They mostly live in the area around Bratislava, in the villages of Chorvatsky Grob, Kunovo, Davinska Nova Ves, Rasovce, and Yurovce. Croatian minorities exist in the following regions in Bulgaria exist a small Croatian community, a branch of Janjevci, Croats from Kosovo. In Kosovo, Croats or Janjevci Letnikani, as inhabited mostly the town of Janjevo, before 1991 numbered 8,062 people, but after the war many fled, and as of 2011 number only 270 people. In the Republic of Macedonia, Croats number 2.686 people or 0.1% of population, mostly living in the capital city Skopje, city Bitola and around Lake Ored. Diaspora There are currently 4 to 4.5 million Croats in diaspora throughout the world. The Croat diaspora was the consequence of either mostly economic or political coercion or expulsions reasons. To other European countries Slovenia, Italy, Austria, Slovakia, Germany, Hungary, caused by the conquering of Ottoman Turks, when Croats as Roman Catholics were oppressed. To the Americas largely to Canada, the United States of America, Chile, and Argentina, with smaller communities in Brazil, Peru, and Ecuador, as well as to Australia, New Zealand and South Africa in the end of 19th and early 20th century, large numbers of Croats emigrated particularly for economic reasons. A further, larger wave of emigration, this time for political reasons, took place after the end of the World War II. At this time, both collaborators of the Eustace regime and those who did not want to live under a communist regime fled the country, to the Americas and Oceania once more. As immigrant workers, particularly to Germany, Austria, and Switzerland in the 1960s and 1970s. In addition, some emigrants left for political reasons. This migration made it possible for communist Yugoslavia to achieve lower unemployment and at the same time the money sent home by emigrants to their families provided an enormous source of foreign exchange income. The last large wave of Croat emigration occurred during and after the Yugoslav Wars 1991 Migrant communities already established in the Americas, Oceania, and across Europe grew as a result. The count for diaspora is approximate because of incomplete statistical records and naturalization. Overseas, the United States contains the largest Croatian emigrant group, 414,714 according to the 2010 census, mostly in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, and California, with a sizable community in Alaska, followed by Australia, 133,268 according to the 2016 census, with concentrations in Sydney, Melbourne, and Perth, and Canada, 133,965 according to the 2016 census, mainly in southern Southern Ontario, British Columbia and Alberta. Various estimations put the total number of Americans and Canadians with at least some Croatian ancestry at 2 million, many of whom do not identify as such in the country's censuses. Croats have also emigrated in several waves to Latin America, mostly to South America, chiefly Chile, Argentina, and Brazil. Estimates of their number vary wildly, from 150,000 up to 500,000. There are also smaller groups of Croatian descendants in the Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, South Africa, New Zealand, Mexico, and South Korea. The most important organizations of the Croatian diaspora are the Croatian Fraternal Union, Croatian Heritage Foundation and the Croatian World Congress. Maps See also References Sources Topic. External links Media related to Croats at Wikimedia Commons In Croatian Matica Hrvatska. Review of Croatian History at Central and Eastern European Online Library Croats of Bosnia and Herzegovina, History. Archived from the original on 15 June 2002. The Croatian Nation at the Beginning of the 20th Century Famous Croats and Croatian Cultural Heritage Hrvatska Matica Iseljenica Croatian Heritage Foundation. Archived from the original on 27 April 2005. Croatians in Arizona